Hi everyone, this is going to be a bit different. So this is going to be a, a keyboard product review. Uh, I've had quite a few emails about the equipment that I use to play games, particularly World of Warcraft. Uh, and I thought I'd start off with uh, one video and see if you like it. And I'm going to compare this keyboard to two of the other keyboards that I've used and talk through the, the positives and negatives of them all. And uh, this is the one that I use the most and I really like it, and it's the Microsoft Sidewinder X6. Now, the X6 is the version of the keyboard that's got a detachable numpad like this, which you can just plug on the side, um, and then it goes lit up and it's ready to use. It's a very simple interface. If you are a left-handed user, you can put it over on this side, and uh, you can use the keyboard like that. Or if you're like me and I don't use the numpad, you can just take it, put it in a drawer, and you won't see it again. Now the reason I like that is because it makes the keyboard overall quite uh, small uh, and that means that if you've got an oversized gaming mouse mat like I have over here and I've got the, uh, the Razer mouse, the death adder I use, you can put your hand very close to the keyboard which reduces the amount of stress, you, your elbows are, are closer together um, with your left hand over here on the WSAD key keys, um, it, it makes it a lot simpler and easier to use uh, for long periods of time without any kind of uh, stress. So the other reason I really like this keyboard and the primary reason that I've stuck with it for so long is the profile of the keyboard. It's quite thin, the angle of the wrist rest is very shallow, uh, so you don't get any stress on your wrists when you're playing uh, for long periods of time, which is really very, very nice. Uh, it's also got some controls that are, are very nice to use when you're in the middle of gameplay. Um, so say for example you're on Skype and somebody comes into Skype that's really loud. It's got a very fast global mute uh, and you can also dial them down really quickly with, a, with the spin dial you've got here which is really nice. The backlight you can adjust easily like this, up and down or off. So depending on how bright the uh, light is in the room uh, you can adjust this so that it's comfortable. It's got some very, very fast macro keys here in orange on the left-hand side. I don't use macro keys, but it's really, really simple. It's a one-touch record. Click the record button, select the macro, do whatever you need to do, press the record, and your keys are set. And I don't use that, as I said. Uh, media controls up here for stop and play, very, very nice. Uh, but overall, as I said, as a keyboard, it's really the profile that I like. I also like the weight of the keyboard. It's very sturdy. Uh, it doesn't have raised feet. It's got just simple rubberized feet, which I prefer. If you want to raise the back of the keyboard up, you're not going to be able to do that. Um, so if you want a, a very sloping keyboard, this isn't the one for you. But it's the one I like the most. Now, if you compare this keyboard to um, a different keyboard that I used for a little while, which I didn't like in the end, it's uh, this one. This is the Logitech G110, and as you can see, it is massive compared to the Microsoft Sidewinder. Um, there are different versions of this keyboard. This is the cheaper version. Uh, I got this on eBay, as I got uh, the Sidewinder on eBay as well, so I got them full for about half the price. Uh, I didn't really like this keyboard in the end. Uh, the keys are quite large, the travel distance is really long um, compared to the, uh, the Microsoft keyboard, and I just found this was a, overall a less responsive keyboard. Um, the macros were large. Uh, I did like the media controls. Uh, the, the volume is a, a little sort of rocker switch up here, which was nice. But overall it felt clumsy, so I, I abandoned using that one. I did try for a little while this keyboard over here, uh, and I, I picked this one up because again the profile was ultra slim, the travel on the keys was very very short, uh, so it was very responsive, and this was the, the Logitech illuminated keyboard, uh, not a very expensive keyboard. Now. This one, it worked pretty well. It was very um, low profile, but I had a few issues with this. This is not a gaming keyboard, uh, and I have realized the, the problem you get with ghosting um, and uh, not being able to press multiple keys at once and register them easily. Uh, that keyboard suffers from that. Uh, also, I found that I, I use my thumb down here for quite a few of my uh, hotkeys, and I use sort of the knuckle here for the space bar. I found that it started to stick, much to my amazement, on this side. So I'd press it and it wouldn't wouldn't release properly, uh, which would muck up the uh, the usage of the, the keyboard. So unfortunately for me, that one, even though it was low profile, low profile uh, excuse me, had to just go and end up with this beauty. Uh, picked it up on eBay, looked for bargains, uh, got it for about half the price it is in the shops. Uh, brilliant, brilliant keyboards. Uh, 
I thoroughly recommend it for gaming. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you're looking for uh, reviews of other peripherals that I use, uh, my headset, so I've got quite a nice setup with uh, redirected sound through different um, components that I use, and uh, let me know, and I'll do another review. Cheers, guys. Bye.